Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time to play some more Factorio here in our step-by-step -step to Mega Base series. We are just about to discover landfill and I think we're also about to craft our first 1000 red science packs. In today's episode we're gonna go for a lot of research, all of this up to this point we can discover just using the first two science packs. However, very soon we're gonna need access to the military science pack here, the grey one. And so we should better get prepared for that. You also gave me the tip to install bottleneck light instead of the normal bottleneck mod, which is a little less intrusive here. So, de so definitely appreciate that. Now before we go all crazy, let me see. Yeah, we're gonna need to upgrade our power before everything is set in motion. But maybe let's have a look at the recipe first. We already unlocked the military science pack. And oh, before I forget, we should continue researching. But yeah, we need piercing round magazines, some grenades and walls. If we have a look at those recipes, the grenades are made with coal and iron plates, the magazines with normal magazines, which are made with iron plates. And then additionally, we need some steel and copper for this. Last but not least, the walls are made with stone bricks, which need to be cooked up with stone in a furnace. Now, if I'm not mistaken yet, we also unlocked the steel furnace. So that's the furnace we're gonna choose because it is doubly as fast and doesn't require more space than the normal furnace. By the way, with even distribution, if you have lots of ore and stuff, just go near furnaces and hit shift C in order to dump all those materials into nearby machines. And now we can have an appropriate amount of materials in our inventory. So let's get things started by crafting a whole bunch of electric mining drills. We're gonna need to upgrade our mining program quite a bit. Let's do some gate research. Yeah, we'll need to upgrade all of our mining sites. If we check out these miners, they only produce, hmm, let me see, per second, six per second. So we need more than double the amount of the miners we have currently. But what is more important right now to me is the stone right here. This needs a proper mining site. So I think I'm gonna get started right here. Let me set up eight to begin with. And we're just gonna add more should we ever need more. But let's leave this outside and I guess I'm just gonna go up there. I'm all out of belts. Luckily enough the machine crafted some here. We still have plenty of materials. So we just need a little bit of power right there. And the stone is ours. Gonna bring this around the corner and let's see. No, we can't get through there. So let's place these guys. A little bit of tree felling, never hurt. And now the road is open and free. Good. What do I actually want to do? Yeah, I probably want to bring it up here. So I'm gonna do that. If we hop over here, just like that, we can keep going up with the stone. Another hop here. And I guess I'm gonna need a whole bunch more underground belts soon. Another hop there. And we continue all the way up to our current stream of materials. Another research done. We're gonna go for the tool belt that actually changes something about our inventory size, which is nice. And right here, I'm gonna continue with the stone. Now hold on, I might want to lead this one more up because we also need access to coal. So that would be the stone line and the other one would be the coal line that we can easily take from here. So this is just going up and we borrow the extra coal we're getting from not using it by our smelters. I like that and now we can just keep going here, keep going with the stone as well. And just like that we have access to stone and coal where we actually need it. I would say the first step we have to take is smelting up the stone because then we can get rid of one line already. We're still gonna need the coal for something else. Yeah, the grenades, of course. So maybe we just find a way to combine coal and stone on one line and bring it down here. I'm gonna need to split the coal somewhere here and then still bring it together. Let's see, in order to hop over these two lines that will continue. I need to split it at least here. This way I can continue one line so that would be one coal line that continues. Um, let's choose lab research speed. Uh, you know what? Let me get rid of that. I'm gonna do it differently. Okay, why do I have to think about this so hard? Let's just uh, make it easy on us. We hop over here. This line would be continuing like so. So it's filling up the first row. And then the stone could come in from here. Or we just move over. I don't know. It looks more elegant this way. The main thing is we now have the stone and the coal on one line, which is great. We're gonna come around here to save a little bit on space and then we can start setting up the furnaces. Now, maybe let's start with a couple of these furnaces and we already smelt up some steel. So we have some stone here that we can distribute and we also have some coal. As a matter of fact, I also want to smelt up some initial steel. So we have to set up iron plates 
and some coal. Give me more iron plates, please. Thank you. And we're gonna put those all in there in order to smelt up some steel. With our first steel and stone bricks, we can then build the steel furnaces. And we might just go ahead and set up a splitter here in order to make the contraption a little bit smaller. So we'll have some furnaces. Let me actually just measure this out with normal furnaces. So we would have some here. Maybe hmm, we need eight, right? Yeah, we need eight furnaces. In the center, a conveyor line and then another set of four furnaces. We're gonna go for stronger explosives next. Very nice. Now all we need is to collect these materials and hopefully, yeah, we can already build three furnaces. So we'll be able to exchange this and it's gonna be much faster. Good, so all that's left to do is setting up the inserters and we're gonna get that second line in the joint as well. Very nice. This is probably something we can hook up without issues, without breaking the bank. And now we're already automatically cooking up the stone, so we don't need those guys anymore. Something nice about Factorio, you can upgrade machines if they are compatible without breaking anything. Good. What do we need to do with the stone bricks? Just one simple thing, and that is gonna be walls. And actually, one machine is already enough. So we'll just need one simple assembler with the wall recipe, bring those stone bricks over, but then we probably need very fast inserters to make this happen. Next research, electricity, energy distribution. And by the way, the researches are still random, we're going through everything. I'm gonna extract the walls right here and we're gonna bring them on a belt leading down. So that should fill up the right side of the belt, just like that. Next up, I need one more furnace arrangement, just like this one, in order to cook up the steel. So we are just gonna mirror it, this is also gonna look very nice. As a matter of fact, I can just take the blueprint here and paste it over there. I still have to build it myself, of course, so it's not much use, but at least I will not have to think about it. I'm gonna have the splitter at the same spot, and so our next goal is gonna be to combine iron and coal together. And in order to accomplish that, I'm gonna split the iron right here, I think. So that's gonna come over and it's gonna go into something that looks like this, go down. That is one side filled and the other side can just continue. Next research, physical projectile damage too. And I'm gonna go for the shooting speed afterwards. Let's also light up the place here, tiny bit. And from the looks of it, that just means I need to bring my coal somewhere here, lead this around. Copper will be able to continue without issues. And also we can continue the coal. We can do a split right there, bring this here and then hop over there in order to continue that line. And we once again have our three lines that we can use for more. And thus the steel crafting has begun. How wonderful. I'm gonna be using the steel in the beginning in order to craft more of the furnaces until we're done here. Okay, nice. Let's continue our little project here, though. I think at this point it might be wise to improve the power. Yeah, I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna set up four more boilers. And that means I need eight steam engines, to be exact. It's really not fun running out of power in Factorio. Everything just slows down dramatically. So what we have to do is just continue this one boiler and steam engine at a time. Get a pipe here and now we actually have to split this. So one coal line can just continue up. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Just setting up the splitter. Hmm, these freaking trees. But there it is, this should now activate all the boilers and we need one more pipe. Nope, actually we got them all. Okay nice, looks like everything is still working, though I fear we're not gonna have enough coal. So it's time to add two more miners to this project. And while we're at it, I'm gonna add two more to the smelting project, since this is now gonna be utilized quite heavily. Wonderful, that is our power problem out of the way, also for the future for these packets. And it is now time for the next recipe. In order to craft the grenades, we just need to continue this belt. We need exactly those materials. And so my suggestion would be to start crafting maybe at this point. And we're just gonna set up these eight assembling machines with all grenades. We can power this up quite easily. Also, the crafting time of grenades is eight seconds. That means we don't need to hurry up with picking up the materials, but we'll be picking them up from this side. And this is gonna allow me to put them on the belt right on this side, combine them with the walls. So we already have two ingredients of the military science pack together. All we have to do is continue this belt and continue the other belt there on the other side. Um, yeah, let's go down here and do the curve. 
and there we go, starting to craft the grenades, wonderful. Now at this point we're gonna need some steel, we also need some copper and last but not least we just need simple magazines. At this point I also need a little bit of steel to craft at least two assembling machines mark II and we're gonna use that to lower the amount of machines we require to build the piercing round magazines. We only need two instead of three so it adds up perfectly. But yeah thinking about this I would like to bring down the copper somewhere and I would like to have a machine somewhere here picking up the iron. Oh, actually, we could easily do that right here. Yeah, I can just set this up here, make the firearm magazines. We are gonna extract them on this side and that is gonna allow us to build a belt. Um, let me see. If we just do this, it's gonna land on the right side. So I probably wanna go up first and then take a little turnaround. This should allow me to kind of go beneath here so we don't use up more space than necessary. And if I turn this around like so, then we'll have the copper on the other side. So I kind of like where this is going. Let's just see how this is being crafted. Um, wait a second. Yeah, looks like we don't need a fast inserter for this one. This can just go quite slow, but there we go. We have the materials and these are the three materials we need for the upgraded magazines, copper, simple magazines and some steel. In the meantime, we can go ahead and research logistics too. That is already gonna take care of our first bottleneck, so we will be able to ship double the amount of materials, contrary to the yellow belt. Either way, let's see if we can make it through here with a bunch of undergroundies. We just need to do that and that, very easy. And now we have all the lines together. And what we can do now is take our two upgraded machines. Where are they? Right there. Wait a second, I think we first have to take care of another problem. Yeah, we don't get enough iron at the moment. Now is the time to upgrade this part of the base. And that simply means getting more mining drills in the joint. So it's a quite easy solution. I would like to upgrade this to the point where we get exactly one full belt and we should theoretically be able to accomplish this. Let's make a little bit more space, just route the copper over there and then we can go ahead combine the iron. We can use a simple splitter in order to combine the two materials and if we check with the rate calculator, let's actually make sure we have all of them built first. Rate calculator, what can you tell me? 13.5, so it's not quite a belt. We would have to add three more since we get about 0.5 per second. Good, said and done and we get 15 exactly, so that should fill up the belt almost. Sometimes there will be gaps because we're not mining at the same speed from the left and right. But this should now help to resupply the iron we need to craft the grenades. And that means we can also continue with our shenanigans here. We need two machines and we need a little bit of space. So, hmm, this is actually going to be a little bit more of a pain in the butt than I first anticipated. If we have those piercing round magazines like so, then I could supply this guy. No, this is not convenient, but what if we did something like this and then move everything one block down? We can then have normal inserters and some long-handed inserters. We can do something like this and now we have access to all the materials. Nice. Another research done. Hmm, let's do engines. We're gonna need lots of those. But yeah, let's finish the piercing round magazines first. Right there. We also fill this up and now we have those on the belt. Now this, if I'm not mistaken, is the last material we require. So all we have to do is something like this, go down at this point. Oh no, we ran out of belts but had 400 more just waiting for us. So I'm gonna bring this all the way up here. Ooh, actually this might not be enough space. We need like eight more machines, right? No, we'll even need 10. Hmm, how do I fit 10 more machines? Uh, let's get crafting maybe. We could start right here. That's another research done. Oh, look at that. We can already get into trains, which is going to be useful once we tap into more resources. Honestly, I think I'm just going to continue since we don't need more labs right now, at least. Uh, actually, looking at this, we do need a bunch more labs. But still, I'm not going to reach the point where this is actually going to be in the way. So we can just do two, four, six, eight and ten. Get this all powered up. And of course, this should be all military science pack. We copy this over. We need a normal inserter and a long-handed inserter for each machine. 
Continue that belt all the way down and one more splitter for me, please. Ah, look at this. We can now build the upgraded belt. Ah, this is going to be so useful. But let's bring the military science packs all the way down and start lighting up the place for our viewing pleasures. And while well, you look at that, this seems to be working. We are getting way more arm plates. Looks like at some point we still have to set up balancers so they get distributed better. Fluid handling, cheese, yes, give me, give me all that stuff. And we need long-handed inserters to finish the job. Get these grenades and walls into the machines. And of course a splitter right there, so we can also serve the machines at the bottom. And I think I'm gonna switch this up a little bit, so we actually have the space to accommodate the new signs. And we also, what, created the first military signs pack. Let's just uh, keep going with this here. And I'm gonna go beneath here. It's gonna be the same result. The packets are gonna be on the right side of the belt. Next up, we're gonna go for the car. That would be a nice feature to explore the surrounding area a little bit better. Know where the next patches and enemies are gonna be located. By the way, what I would like to see is a continuation here with the science packs. We're gonna go up there and let me see we need to end up somewhere here so we're just gonna follow whatever structure we have going on here and bring these over we need some long-handed inserters to serve them to the laboratories wonderful that's what i'm talking about and if we check the ratios we should have a nice ratio going on at the moment let me see um let's just do that we have one military science per second also this adds up everything here adds up and it is a really good ratio also, if our furnaces are working at full efficiency, we are getting exactly 15 plates, which is great. That also means we can upgrade this with steel furnaces and red belts and still have a full belt, but 30 items per second. Isn't that absolutely lovely? And it is still quite compact and easy to overview, easy to fix. We might have to add some more miners or so. So at this point, I would say we're gonna upgrade our laboratories a little bit. That means I want to add at least one more row, just make this a little bit faster. We can charge by the amount of green and red science packs we get. And also, if this is accumulating, then we simply don't have enough labs. But I didn't want to exaggerate because the labs do require quite a bit of power. And so we have to think about how we use them. But I think two more rows, yeah, two more I'm gonna add for sure. Next research, automated rail transportation. Oil processing is gonna be very nice. Now we actually ran out of coal, so that is our next problem that we have to fix using more miners. Of course, with only four coal miners, we don't actually get far, considering we're supplying all these furnaces and the grenade crafting. So we just set up more miners. Let's do at least six more. We're gonna get these two lines to connect together. Also, next research, rail signals, wonderful. Now, one thing we could do is actually check the ratio we require. So how much coal are we currently using at full potential? seems like just slightly below eight. So if everything is running extremely quickly, then we would be using eight per second. If we check out the miners dedicated to the system, we only get five, so we don't have enough. We need at least five more. I'm gonna add six more. So let's make a little bit of space. Did I pick up a grenade? Yes, I did. So I can actually use the grenade in order to get rid of the trees much quicker. Wonderful, said and done. We now have enough coal miners, so that is not an issue unless we build something else that requires more coal. But this should definitely fix our bottleneck at the moment, which was that we weren't able to smelt the iron quick enough. And I would say with that out of the way, the military science packs are done. A little bit earlier than we needed, there's plenty of research still left to be done with just the red and green science packs. But if we ever want to go, let's say, for stronger explosives before we attack the enemies, we can now do that. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep going with the simple research. Wonderful. I would say with that project out of the way, I'm so happy about this. This factory turned out pretty nice. But yeah, I guess we can wrap it up at this point. Uh, what's going on here? Why are you lacking fuel? Hmm, I guess we are not quick enough. Okay, that is one thing that we might have to fix. And it is easily fixable by just adding fast inserters as our input method. And now we shouldn't have issues getting those four stones in the joint before the smelting is over. Let's see here. Yeah, we also need two fast inserters to make this happen. So this machine here is going to be fast enough with the input so it can craft the stone walls. The same thing might happen here. Hmm, I don't think the long-handed inserters are quite quick enough. So we'll have to add two more of these. 
Oh, I just realized these guys actually never make it. <laughs> if I get rid of the light here, I can just use a splitter. That might be the easiest. Another research done. Flammables. Oh, yes. Give me that. But yeah, I need to split this up and make this go over there. Good, with the two long-handed inserters, this is now finally gonna be quick enough to continuously keep crafting, which is exactly what we need. And then there's one more change that I made in order to split the coal here. I just, instead of hopping over with the coal, now hopping over with the iron, making it a little bit easier. You can just uh, look at it and understand that this is easier than before. But sometimes when I'm recording, my brain goes, Wah! just do something and then yeah the first attempt is not always the best but look at this i'm really happy how this turned out we can now keep crafting with the next recipe here but until then i'm just gonna happily keep on researching and i guess as long as we have enough power i'm also gonna add a couple more laps though at some point we might have to replace these with fast inserters but yeah, with that out of the way, we're gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and supporting the series as usual. Have a great time, and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.